Happy Wednesday. So I'm actually gonna head to the shop right now to give them a breakdown. Let me show you guys everything that I have in this car right now. So I got the trunk full. This whole thing is full of Nike stuff. Got the hoodies, got the fire white jackets, got the red hoodies, got the book bags, and then the back seat is also full. So right now we're gonna head to the shop and I meet up with you guys there. All right, so we just made it to the shop. I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of everything for the most part that's gonna be a part of the Nike collection. So we have the red all over print hoodie. This one is gonna get the WBTF with the check. I was gonna switch it up and do a new design, but that one is just so clean that I have to do it on this one. Just cause a lot of people stop me like, hey, is this a real Nike hoodie? And I'd be like, nah, um, it's a collab. But anyways, we got that in the Christmas colors, red and hunter green. And then we have the beanies, which are nice. Showed you guys, I bought this in the flushing outlet. Um, so this one is just a regular Nike beanie with a pom-pom. This one is the one that I really like because it has like that swoosh, that knitted in double swoosh. So this one is fire too. I'm gonna put Wait for the Fame right here and then leave the Nike like that. Then we have the bed side Biggie hoodies. So this one is also clean. I'm gonna put my logo. I'll show you guys right now on the screen. I'm gonna put that right here. That way it looks like it's like one of those jerseys that have like a, that's like the company that sponsored it. You know what I mean? Like the NBA jerseys, how the Lakers have like Wish and stuff like that. So that one is also nice. Next, I know I'm going over a lot right now, but it's just, this collection is just too fire. So next are these book bags. So the book bags are also Fuego. Um, it has this little reflective line right here, which is cool. And then the really good thing that sold me on this book bag is the fact that as you see it's like you know regular book bag you know just your typical book bag i'll show you guys what the inside looks like really quick so your standard bag has a little zipper here like you know, there probably could fit like a macbook air or the new ipads but the thing that's fire about it is that you can tuck this part you can tuck this and then it just turns into a nice little like you know purse type of bag it's pretty fire like I've never seen a Nike book. I've never seen any book bag that I could do this, to be honest. I could be out the loop, but I really like these bags. Um, and then what else we got? So let's walk over here. So the other things we have are the hoodies and the crew necks. I'm not really sold on this crew neck. I just, I love the color of it. I just don't know if you guys are going to like it. So I'm kind of like, eh, should I even, you know what I mean? Should I quote unquote mess these up? Because if I put something on it, that's it. There's no returning. There's no nothing. If no one buys it. That's it. I'm just stuck with it's like ten thirty-five dollar crew necks, which is three hundred fifty bucks. Um, but yeah, so we got these hoodies in red, navy. Uh, I have one of these left that I'm probably gonna return, or I might just keep for myself as a large. Um, and then the mustard color. My favorite is the mustard. I think that one's gonna go f higher. Uh, I'm not sure what design I'm gonna put on these yet. I think I'm gonna embroider way for the fame right here though. I'll show you guys my idea right now on the screen. I'm thinking of going with this. And then the the money piece right here, the big boy, the $290 retail jacket. This guy right here. Let's see if it has the price on it. Um, but yeah, so this guy, the two-in-one thermal tech fire reversible vest, jacket, whatever we're gonna call this, the money piece. Um, I have these. So what I'm thinking of design-wise on this is that it has a Nike right here on the sleeve. And then it has like a, a weird Nike here. I was going to put something on the back, but I love the fact that the jacket is just so clean. Let me lay down on the table so you guys can see what it looks like. So here's what the jacket looks like laid down. Um, and you see what I mean? It's just so clean. Like initially I was going to put like a logo right here, but I feel like it would just look choppy. So what I think I'm going to do, because I don't really want to put too much design into this. Like I would like to put something on the back. But like I was explaining, it has like a weird offset check all the way here. So if I put something like here, it's just going to look weird there. If I put something here, it's kind of going to look weird here. And then it has this part. So like if I were to screen print, um, it'll it'll kind of like hop over because it has this little piece right here. So it wouldn't be flush. So my only options are do it very high or weirdly in the middle, which I'm not really a fan of. So what I'm thinking of doing is I'm probably just going to put Wait for the Fame on the sleeve. Um, a little more creative. Maybe I'll put like Wait for the Fame in the Nike times. Wait for the Fame like small. So I'm thinking of maybe doing that. As far as the reversible vest goes, I personally don't see people wearing the silver side. Um, it is cool that you do have the option. So what I want to do is just embroider right here because the only thing on the vest is the Nike, again, in that weird little location. Um, so I'm either going to vinyl 
screen print or embroider um this is currently vinyled right here and i'm not opposed to vinyl i just feel like after a while it starts to fade because it's basically just stuck on an adhesion so we'll see how the vinyl goes most likely what i'll do is screen print just in case you do want to wear it on the silver side i'm not going to put nothing on the silver side because it has like the thermal like material and i feel like if i do it it won't stick and it's probably just going to come out bad so i'm only going to put something on here so if someone does want to run reversible it'll just be a silver reversible jacket so we have this tech pack jacket is just fire there's one of every size except small um, but it's only so there's two smalls one medium one large one extra large one 2x so if you're watching this video 12 o'clock december 13th this is this is the money maker right here pretty much everything that i got i mean i'm gonna add everything up and um see what my total is that way i give you guys a little more behind the scenes of like how much money i spent but i'm gonna stop talking for now let me kind of organize everything i'm gonna go over my ideas of what i want to do with the shop and see what could get done what can't get done how quick we can do it because i want everything done by the 8th today is tuesday so what's that the first yeah i need everything done by the 8th because i want time to really prep i want time to be able to do the photo shoot to market it the right way i'm trying to just wear this like you know randomly I'm trying to just wear this hoodie randomly in a video I'm trying to wear this jacket randomly in a video or just have my friends like post it you know what i mean and be like oh shit where'd you get that from where'd you get this beanie from and be like oh well, it comes out in a couple days like i don't want to just drop it of the day like i don't want to just post everything about it the 13th like, i kind of want to like slowly show everyone like do a photo shoot one day another day maybe do a video with the k truck maybe do a video with the miata so what i'm going to do with this actually is i'm going to screen print on it. i'm going to screen print on the size large for myself if it looks like it's going to get messed up um i will then either do a vinyl or embroidery because i kind of feel like it's whack if i don't even give the customer an option to wear a reversible because although i don't really see you guys getting a seam remover cutting off the seams right here um and actually wearing a reversible who knows maybe some people do so maybe some people won't um, I want to give you at least that option. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to screen print it. We'll see how that goes day of. I'll probably be back here in a couple of days to go over everything and um, help them do the screen printing. That way I can kind of give you guys even more behind the scenes and I can show you guys exactly what I want to do. We'll get to go what goes into vectoring and all that. But for as of right now, this is going to be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon. Um, I still got to pick up my plates from my K truck, which are actually done at the DMV. So maybe I do that in the next video. Um, I'll probably do Pokemon cards in the next video, actually, but thanks for watching.